Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 42. We're going to be looking at model transformations. And so what a model transformation is basically if we have multiple transformations, such as scaling and rotation together, or transforming, or translating and rotating, that's a model transformation. And so that's normally defined as the model matrix uh, within a shader in GLSL. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in the actual application using the GL matrix library. So without even doing anything, and we just have the identity uh, matrix here, let me go ahead and put that out. This is what we look like right here. So we have the triangle, has a longer side, goes slightly farther out, and then the shorter side here. Um, if we go ahead and just set this up so that it has a rotation first and then translates, it's going to rotate and then move up in these directions. If we're not rotating at any angle, so we're just doing zero, and we move it, it'll come out just a little bit. Um, so, uh, just a smidge there. And if we go ahead and set it now at the 45 degree angle, we can take it out. Now it's rotated and it's out just a little bit. So you can see how that works fairly simply and um, kind of nice. Now, as before, we said that uh, matrices are non commutative, meaning if you multiply A times B, that's not the same thing as multiplying B times A. In other words, if we translate it and then rotate it rather than rotate and translate, we're going to end up with something different even if these values were all the same as before. So if you think about our, tr our original triangle back here, if we rotate and then we push out, that's where we're going to end up, up here. But if we push out and then rotate, we're still going to be out here, but then the triangle will be at an angle out this direction. So you can see exactly what that looks like right here in this example. So we've moved out and then we've started to rotate. So you can go ahead and play with that. Um, the main difference between this and the last episode too is you know we're using from translation and from rotation, and we're rotating around the z-axis here, and we're trans translating um, based off this vector here. So uh, a few other things that you should note is uh, continue to look at the API docs for all of these different types of uh, things you can do with this four by four matrices. Note here that we have an out matrix and uh, another matrix that's the basically the in matrix and we're actually setting it to the model matrix again you can give these different names if you'd like to but it's just easier to use the same one over and over again and uh, that's basically it for this episode though uh, if you like what you saw please subscribe like this video share on social media if you will and go ahead to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter have a great one